Hello everyone, my name is Tabby and welcome back to my channel, Keeping Tabs, where today I'm going to be doing my August TBR. And I don't know if a TBR video is going to be a regular thing on my channel because I'm a mood reader, so I can't set a list of books and stick to it. For some reason, I just can't. The only reason that this one is even possible is because I've already started reading most of them, and there's only four. So yeah, let's just start. The first book is Frost Blood by Ellie Blake which actually haven't started reading this one. This is the ARC because my friend gets a lot of ARCs where she works so she sends me them sometimes and it just so happens to be that Ellie Blake is going to be at a book signing later on this month in my town or city so I want to read this so that I can get it signed but um yeah it's the ARC. This is about a girl who is a fire blood which means she can control heat and fire and she lives in a world of frost bloods and frost bloods hate the fire bloods I don't know why but they want to kill them all off and so she's like the only one and she meets a band of frost blood rebels who want to take her in so that they can use her as a weapon to kill the king and take down the system and whatever else rebels do and so she's like yeah well I got nothing else to do so I'm gonna do it but then she ends up getting caught and thrown into this tournament to win her freedom back and it's kind of like a gladiator style where the frost buds will pit the fireblood prisoners against frost blood champions and just watch them duel it out that's all i know that's the synopsis i got from the back of the book i've heard that this is like a knockoff of red rising not red rising red queen by who wrote red queen victoria aviard yeah i've heard that this is a knockoff of red queen and so yeah, I don't know if that's good or not because I've also heard that Red Queen is a knockoff of literally every fi fantasy book out there. So I don't know. I'm going to read it anyways because I want to get it signed and I think it would be awkward if I go and I haven't read the book. So there we go. The next book I actually started reading and I am less than 50 pages away from the end and that is Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. This book is so good and I love it so much and I will tell you guys more about it during my wrap up. But Morgan Rhodes is actually going to be at the book signing too as the moderator. So I am super excited to get this book signed because I love this book and I wish I had read it earlier in my life because it's amazing. So many death, so much death, so much violence, and I love that. The next book I have is Crowd of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass, book two in the Throne of Glass series. Um, I recently not recently, earlier this year I started reading Throne of Glass for the first time and I enjoyed it. Now I'm reading Crown of Midnight and I'm liking it. I love Kale so much and this book is just delivering all the Kale goodness, let me just tell you that. But I know it's going to come to an end because Rowan is coming so I, I try to not get attached but sometimes it's hard, okay? Sometimes it's hard but I just love Kale so much. I can't wait to read Tower of Dawn but I have so many other books to read until I get there which is annoying. And the final book that, oh, I started reading this one. I started reading this one. I'm only 150 pages in, so yeah. The last book that I decided to pick up very randomly because last night I was rearranging my bottom shelf and I was looking at all of my mass market paperbacks and I just picked this up. It's Mystic River by Dennis Lehane. Mystic River is such a good movie. Dennis Lehane's books literally all of them get turned into movies and they all have really successful actors playing the characters like Leonardo DiCaprio and Kevin Bacon and Ben Affleck and just his movies are always really good so I've seen Mystic River a thousand times and I love it so I wanted to try this book and I'm already 20 pages in and it's really good this is going to be my second Dennis Lehane book so I'm excited to read it it's pretty short for a mass market actually that's a lie it's like 477 that's pretty average I guess I don't know Either way, I'm going to try and read this this month, and yeah, that's it. That's my four books I'm going to read this month. Hopefully, I can get through them all. I probably can, since I'm already pretty much done one of them. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys have read any of these, and what you thought. What are you guys planning on reading this month? I will talk to you guys later. Bye!